Well, hello, dear friends. Welcome for another Friday is Pi Day. I have to apologize because it was my planning to give you a video about drum programming uh, with Superior Drummer 3, which I promised in the previous episodes of my videos. So I couldn't keep my promise yet, but I will certainly do next time because I'm just back from Poland where I have been working for six weeks for my normal job. Um, so what I'm going to do today is guide you around in my recording spaces of my home studio. In fact, my home studio is really my home. So all of the recording spaces that I'm using make part of my house. First is the basement. In the basement, I'm doing tracking for my drum parts and loud instruments. For instance, amplified uh, electric bass or electric guitars, which need to be really loud for uh, metal or uh, hard rock songs, uh, because that space is uh, very well isolated. It's uh, underground and neighbors don't uh, hardly hear, hear what I'm doing over there, so I don't disturb them. Um, it's also used as a rehearsal space for um, uh, the band with, I'm having with my brother uh, by nature and the cover band Hot Snacks, as well as uh, rehearsals with other musicians if it's called for. So this is the basement. In the middle you can see my drum set and also the 19-inch recording stack that I created over there. My drum set is a Sonor Designer and the snare drum is a pork pie. The green seat is a Gigster, it's a bum chum, which gives me kick feeling without being amplified sonically. This microphone is my Stereo Ribbon Golden Age Project R1ST. As you can see, maybe uh, for the recording nerds, I'm using a Glyn Johns overhead technique and close miking with uh, SM57 on snare. Um, that's a mic tech on the upper tom. And on the lower tom, I'm using a JTS NX2, which is a kick drum mic, but it sounds gorgeous on my floor tom. That one in the kick itself inside is a Shure Beta 54 and on the floor a little bit further away is a Telefunken M82 uh, on about 30 centimeters distance from the resonant head. Next is the living room, which I'm also using for uh, recordings uh, most of the time with my uh, upright piano, which is a wonderful sounding Blutner. Uh, it has a very distinctive sound with a lot of harmonics and it is not as focused as, for instance, a Yamaha piano. Oh, although I like Yamaha sound very much, I adore the, uh, the wide open, uh, full bodied, warm sound of my Blutner. It's taken care of by Eric Verhulst from uh, the Piano Temmer, um, as you will see now. He services this piano about every three months. The Blutner has a gorgeous harmonic sound with lots of warm, full-bodied overtones. I used it uh, among others on uh, recording for the uh, Belgian band Noncle Tony with Dutch repertoire and with actor Hans van Kouwenberghe. And the song you will hear is called Linda. The piano is played by Anton Officiers, piano player to Noncle Tony. Enjoy. <laughs> Linda for 
de deur van haar huis. Haar kinderen zijn al. Further down beyond the piano is my pre-production corner. Here I do some composing and pre-production demo recordings, quick vocal recordings with my brother. And here uh, I'm also doing the pre-production on MIDI keyboards. It's a Kemper profiler on top of it for uh, guitar uh, amplification with uh, different kinds of uh, amp simulations. My Adam 5X monitors and also something I'm very proud of, my Focusrite ISA 428 preamps with the converter on top. It's a, they are beautiful sound, sounding pre-amplifiers. Next up is a pre-production I did here in this corner with uh, Haley Jacobson. Haley is a fantastic uh, piano player and she's also my, my piano teacher. And she has been doing pre-production and score editing uh, in this corner with me for her upcoming album, uh, Corona Diary. Uh, the song or the part of the song you will hear is called The Exit. And at first you will hear the pre-production played on my MIDI keyboard here in this corner. Next is the full recordings um, done live in her studio, but without audience. Enjoy. The next space as well needs some special uh, explanation because it's my bedroom. At first I didn't want to use this room. Of course, it's my bedroom and nobody likes to have stuff hanging around in the bedroom. But after a few trials with percussion and uh, also some jazz drum recordings, it, it proved to be a wonderful sounding room because of the wood, the wooden floor, the wooden ceiling, uh, the wooden furniture, and it gave a wonderful sound reflection. I'm also using it to make my own reverb. I'm using it as a reverb chamber. Um, when I need a really natural sounding reverb on a track, I put one of my big monitors in this room and I record it with my stereo ribbon microphone from a Golden Age project, the R1 ST. I can assure you, if you go through the effort that recording a reverb in a real space, in a real room, re is fantastic, it's re very much rewarding. It will be always better than using a plugin for reverb if the room is decent sounding, of course. But try it and you will be amazed what result you will, you will get out of it. That's also why I'm using my tiled bathroom for reverb uh, chamber purposes. In the back, you will see in the corner uh, also a monitor. So in this room, in the bathroom, with all the tiles around, I'm also using uh, it as a reverb chamber. Last but not least is uh, the space under the roof, which I created as the main recording space. Let's say my friend uh, Ronnie Hermans, also known as Dumbol, did all the works in my house, all beautiful finishing you see on the floors, the walls, the ceilings, the lighting, the painting, everything he did. And this space where I'm recording now, right now, is my control room and the space where I'm uh, tracking most of the vocals 
uh, acoustic guitars, um, acoustic instruments like violin, cello, contrabass, upright bass. Um, and it has a very nice uh, soft sound to it. And a big thank you to my best friend, uh, Ronnie, uh, the mole, for doing all this for me. Um, I will show you a few examples of what I'm doing here with my youngest brother, Johan, who is 13 years younger than me. And he's a singer, songwriter, composer. The solo you will hear next up is a solo from one of his songs called Boomgaard. Um, it's a song with the lyrics from a Flemish poet on which he composed the music. Enjoy. The other one that you will hear next is also a song from Johan called Reflections and it's entirely recorded in here as well, except for the drums. The drums were recorded downstairs in the basement. Enjoy. And this brings us to the end of the guided tour through my home studio. Dear friends, I hope you enjoyed it. And I see you in one of the next Friday is Pi Days. Bye bye.